Good evening, class. Good evening. Can everybody hear me? Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, hello, Manuel Alejandro. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Juan Francisco, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I am what? You are what? Uh, I am in my work. Oh, okay, okay. All right, well, thank you for joining us from your workplace. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello, Heidi, how are you? Hello, Miss. I'm ready. Okay, I like that. I like that attitude. Very good. Okay, welcome, Melissa. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are, good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. Much better than yesterday. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Um, Melissa, were you in class yesterday? Okay. No. Well, I was with a big migraine, so I My couldn't. Migraine. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I, I thought I didn't see you, but I wasn't sure. But yeah. are, you, are you feeling better now? Um, yeah, much better, but not well a lot at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. But I'm I, I'm glad that you're you're better now. That's important. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. Hello, Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. I'm here, ready Good. for the class. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Good. Um, how is Andres Giovanni? Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm good. Good. Yeah. Good. Everything's fine. Everything's yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. And uh, Marvin, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Very good, teacher. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. Excellent. All right. Welcome, Daniel. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I have a problem with my cell phone, but. Oh, okay. I heard that you were sick. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, uh, the last week, I, um, how do you say, recuperarse? Recover. Recover, um, but, yeah, so, so. <laughs> Okay, okay, you're but you're feeling better. Sorry, are you feeling better? Are, are you better? Do you feel better than before? Yes, yes. Um, I have a um, pequeñas molestias, but um, I vamos. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Well, um, I, but you're you're doing a little bit better now. You, yeah, okay. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. And um, let me see, Fabiola, how are you, Fabiola? I can't hear you. No, sorry. I don't know if it's just my audio, but I can't hear her. Um, maybe check your, your, your earphones. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now I can. I'm fine. Okay, good. I'm mm -hmm. glad to hear that. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, you were, you, you were not with us yesterday either, right? Yesterday? No. Uh, 
I had a problem yesterday. Okay, yeah. Okay, but you, but your everything's okay. You're fine. Yes, everything. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. All right. And, yeah, yeah. I just I was wondering because I know that you're always um in class. So I was wondering. I was like, I was wondering what had happened. You know, hoping that everything was okay. Um, and Janet, how are you, Janet? Good evening. Good evening. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> yes, okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, why? Hard day at work? Yes. Very hard. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Maybe tomorrow it will be better. Right? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Thank well, you. I'm happy you're with us. Okay. Okay. And, uh, can I say hi to Yvonne? Are you there, Yvonne? Yvonne, are you there? Hmm, maybe not. Okay. All right. Warner, I don't know if Warner can can talk to us. I know that you're you're driving. <laughs> See, hello, teacher. Hello, Warner. See you. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I'm fine, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. It is in route for a con. Yeah, I'm glad you always join us, even from your car. That's excellent. Okay. And Josue Alberto, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Good. You? good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy to be with you guys. All right. I think I've said hi to everybody. Great. I'm happy to see everybody. Um, and just want to take attendance quickly. So uh, right now I'm going to um, call out your name. And if you, if you guys can just um, Tell me, just say, you know, present if you're here. Okay, so let's start with um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Right. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Great. Edgar. Edgar? No. Okay. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Okay. Present. All right, gotcha, thanks. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. All right, great. Irene? Irene, Irene, Irene? No. Okay, no, I mean. Uh, Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carla. Carla. Okay, Melissa. Melissa. Present teacher. Present. Excellent. Luis. Luis. Okay. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No. Okay. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Excellent. Wendy. When do you know? Um, Werner. Present teacher. Noemi. Present. All right, thank you, Yvonne. Daniel. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Uh, Marlene. Marlene. No. Uh, Ricardo. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you guys for um, for being here on time. Um, just wanted to mention something. Um, today, this morning, I was checking, uh, you know, the 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 um, the results from the midterm because remember I told you guys that we were going to be uh, that to, yesterday was the deadline for the midterm, and I see that not everybody has. Um, has completed the midterm. Uh, I mean, I see many people have like probably, um, you know, two thirds of the class have completed it, but um, not everybody has. So I want to know, um, you know, if who has had any problems with the, um, you know, with the platform or with the midterm? Do you have any questions you want to ask? Anything at all? No, nothing at all. Okay, um, because right now is the moment. If you guys have any questions about the midterm, I can help you guys um, in this moment so that we can review anything and and, um, and and answer any doubts that you have. So everything's okay? Yes, no? A little bit. On my end, no, I don't have any question. I don't know the rest. Okay. Me neither. All right. So everything's okay then? We don't need to do any review? My case, no? uh, midterm is done. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Um, and if even if you did the midterm, but if you had any problems with it, um, you know, if there was something that, you know, were because not because uh, I noticed that some people didn't get like a 100%, right? So that means there must be some doubts. So I want to know if there's anything that I can help you with before we continue. Not really with the top with the platform, but um, it's curious that uh, the problem that I come in there was coming. <laughs> The uh, relative to plural of uh, of person. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. Finally. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Excellent. All right. Any anything else that you guys want to ask about? I'm here to help you guys right now. Okay, all right. Well, then I'm gonna take that as that everybody understands the midterm. Um, there are no problems at this moment, okay? And so we'll just continue. So let's begin, guys, with um, our class um, for today. What is programmed is to start unit number three. So this is beginner module five. It's unit three. We're going to start with unit three, and unit three is about troubleshooting. Do you guys understand the the idea of troubleshooting? Do you know what this means? In my company, this uh, term is used when someone has an issue, maybe a customer, and the IT department. Uh, goes inside the computer of the customer and they troubleshoot, they fix. Mm -hmm. They find what what is causing this issue and they fix it. Right. In my company, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Very good. What's another word that we can use for troubleshooting? How, how can we describe troubleshooting so it's completely clear for everybody?
an idea? No? A synonym? A synonym for troubleshooting? Hmm. Repair or fix? Repair, fix, okay. Um, it's basically, it's problem solving. That's what it is, problem solving. But specifically, when we're talking about something technological, okay? Problem solving, or basically solving a problem, okay? Yeah, does that make sense? So finding a solution to the problem. Okay. Yeah? It's, and, and specifically talking about technology, right? Anything that's related to technology. All right. So that's what we're going to be learning in unit number three. The date today is Tuesday, April 27, 2021. And the date, the day is number 11. Uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. So let's begin with uh, the review number two still where um, I asked, I, I told you guys, um, to this for homework, uh, sorry, for homework, sorry. You, well, if you were not finished, you were supposed to do it for homework. Otherwise, we did it in class, right? So unscramble the words to create sentences, right? And these are the sentences. And all you had to do was put the, the words in the correct order, okay? Now, I did want to uh, mention something that I hadn't noticed yesterday and that I want to um, I want to make sure everybody does, I, I want to call attention to this. And it's that this number three has a problem. And the problem is this word right here, in, okay? It should, this word actually should not be in. The correct word for it should actually be two. Yeah. Ooh. And with Marvin, we've been looking that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh, what happened? Hold on. Okay, there we go. So this word should be actually be two. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that everybody did understand that one. Okay, all right, so let's start sharing the answers. Um, okay, so I'm gonna choose different people. Uh, we'll start with Andres. Andres, do you wanna help me with the first one? Okay, the first one is you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Sorry, could you repeat that again? You are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Is that your answer? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay, number two. Um, let's have uh, Yvonne help us with number two. Okay. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Like this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Haiti, help us with number three. Number three, it is not allowed to bring children. Like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Fabiola? Number four? Uh, I don't know. No, not sure. Okay. Oh, yes, you were not here yesterday. Forget it. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
Uh, Josue, Josue Alberto, help us with number four, please. Okay, number four. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. We're not allowed to spend? Extend. Extend. Oh, sorry, extend, yeah. Extend, extend. our lunch time. Like this? I suppose. Like that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. And the last one uh, will have um, Marvin. Help us with number five, Marvin. Uh, the people are not allowed to check in to check in late. Okay, like this? I think. Yeah? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree or anybody think that any of these sentences needs to be changed? I agree teacher. I agree too. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's check. Number one, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. It's correct. Very good. Number two, employees are not allowed to smoke is also correct. Number three, it is not allowed to bring children is also correct. Number four, we are not allowed to extend our lunchtime is also correct. And finally, people are not allowed to check in late. Is also correct. Bravo, guys. All right. So there you go. Here are different ways that we, we can use the, um, the be allowed to. If you noticed, um, not all of them have the same, the same form of be. Okay. Uh, for example, here we say are. Okay, because it's you. Um, and then we here we have employees. Okay, that is why we are using again are. But in this case, we're using is because the subject is it. Okay, and then here we're using the subject we. So the verb form of B is R and the same, the same thing, the same thing here, we're using R because the, the um, subject is people, which is plural. Okay. And then everything is the same. Everything else is exactly the same, right? So not allowed to, not allowed to, not allowed to, not allowed to, not allowed to. And then the, the verb is, the next verb is going to be in the base form of the verb. So where, smoke, bring, extend, and check. So that's why they're all correct, okay? Any questions so far? No? It's all clear? Yes. Okay, so we have completed unit two now. After having done this, we have completed unit two. It seems that you guys understand unit two. So we are going to go ahead and start with unit three, okay? So let's start with unit three. Okay, so unit start three starts with a conversation between Ramon 
and who was this guy? I forgot this guy's name. Ramon and Dorian. Dorian, thank you. Ramon, Ramon and Dorian. Okay, so Ramon and Dorian um, are talking to each other because there's a problem. Okay, and Ramon talks to Dorian. Dorian is going to help Ramon to fix the problem. So here is our conversation okay, between Ramon and Dorian. All right, so, um, all right, I'm actually going to ask two people to help me read this. One can be Ramon and the other one can be Dorian. He can be Ramon. Uh, who, I I think, can... who, did, who said that I didn't, I didn't see, ah, Francisco. Okay, yeah, Francisco, you can be Ramon. Absolutely, yes. Okay, thank you. Who can be Dorian? Hey, teacher. Okay, all right, Marvin, you can be Dorian. All right, go ahead, guys. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a fall on one of you machine. We'll have a look at it. You're right. You know, it does not work properly. And it's made a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a, have a lot of components. I need to take the metal machine, metal casing of to bury if it's a minor fall or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up I recommend check the brush once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Thank you, Doria. Okay. Thank you, Ramon. All right, very good, guys. Bravo. Very good, excellent. Okay, good. Let's, uh, first of all, let's look at vocabulary, okay? So what is, um, what is some of the vocabulary here that you don't understand? Um, you know what, let's, let's, let's use the chat um, to make it easier. Because that way I can I can read the word and I can see which one you're referring to. So if you guys have questions about the vocabulary, you can write it in the chat. Let's do it that way. Well, I have a question. Uh, I read so strange when it says, uh, Dorian, I have a look at it. It's not to look at it. I have. I'll have a look at it. Oh, I that is that. I have a look at it. Ah, okay. It's like when you say in Spanish, um, le, do, le voy a dar una, una mirada. Revisada. <laughs> oh, I thought because the verb is in the base form, we need to add the word too. That was my confusion. Oh, no, no. It's a look. It's not a look is not a verb. It's it's a noun. Oh, this is have a look. And have a look. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. It's a one word, have a look. Okay, I understand exactly. now, thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, so write it, all the words that you have problems with that you're not sure about, write it in the, in, the, in the chat. Just make sure that you're not repeating the same word, right? But other than that, go ahead. Are you sure, guys? You only have a few. There's only a few. Really? Are you sure? Only three words? Okay. All right. Great. Okay. 
Um, let's talk about the first one. The first one is says, um, well, I, I see many repetitions here. So, okay. So the first word I see is metal casing. Okay. Metal casing. Uh, well, you guys understand metal, right? Metal's clear, right? Or no? Yes? Guys? Yes. Okay. All right. So metal means uh, here we're talking about something that is made from the material metal. And casing, casing is talking about the case. Okay. A case. What is a case? A case is something that um, protects another thing. Um, okay. Uh, for example, I don't know if you, if you guys wear glasses, um, to protect your glasses when you're not wearing the glasses, you have a case, right? That opens, you put the glasses inside and then you close it, yeah? So that's a case that's something that it protects or um, it's used to carry something, okay? Um, what else I can use? Uh, casing, mm. okay. Uh, yeah, for example, yeah, teacher, it's like the it's like the prepared protector that we use for the cell phone. Yeah, exactly. That's actually what I was. That was actually my, my next point. Right? Okay, I had it right there. Exactly. Yeah. So we can also um, use um, a case uh, a a casing, right, to protect our cell phone. Right. It's the outer part of the cell phone. Right. Okay. This part here. This is the casing. That protects the cell phone. Okay, so um, the casing is basically an outer shell to protect or to carry something. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. And, and, and yes. metal casing is just a casing made of metal. Okay. Okay. So um, in this case. Mm hmm. Uh, in this case, we are talk the production is production in Spanish. Production in Spanish says una guarda. Uy, oh, oh, correcto. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what una una qué. Una qué. Eh, es que en en el en, Eh, las máquinas industriales, las protecciones, esas se les llama guardas. Me, a, a eso, me, esa es mi pregunta. Si eh, a ese tipo de protección nos estamos, este, por ejemplo, si es una faja, se le pone una guarda para que no uno no vaya a tener contacto con la faja. Entonces la palabra es guarda. Esa es mi pregunta. Sería esa la, la definición en español. Um... Protector, creo. In my case, in my company, they call the metal case to the part of the CPU computer that you remove to fix the inside, to clean the dust and stuff like that. That is the metal case in the computers. Uh -huh. um, right. Yeah, it's basically the, the, the metal cases, yeah, just the outside part of a machine that protects it, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know, what, what was the word you said? Una, una guarda? guarda. Mm -hmm. Una que? Asil guarda. Una guarda. Guarda. Correcto. Guarda. Uh, G U A R D A? Yes. Um, I guess the, the idea is there. Yeah. It's something to protect. As long as it's something that protects. The idea. The, yeah. Yeah. The idea is there. Yeah. So um, as long as it's, it's something that protects the machine. That would be the metal case. Okay, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay, I got it. All right. Okay, uh, Fortnite. Um, it's actually an expression. If you notice, um, it says once a fortnight. Once a fortnight means once every two weeks. Okay, once every two weeks. Okay. Um, or every two months could also be, or sorry, or twice. Um, but, or like, yeah, basically, every, yeah, every two weeks or twice a month, the same idea. Does that make sense? That is fortnight. For, yeah, one, the expression, once a fortnight. Ah. Uh. Okay. Twice a month. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Fortnite is is another is another way like when you say in Spanish quincena. Mm. So that's why it's once every two weeks. Okay. Right? Or twice a month, which is the same idea. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um then we have the word complex. Complex um, is very similar to Spanish. It means like, like complicated, like lots of different things involved. It's complex. So it says here complex machines. It means that it's a machine that is not simple. It has a lot of details, a lot of, there's lots of, um, yeah, lots of details in it. It's like in Spanish, complejo, right? And then we have the word brushes. Um, where is the word brushes? Me imagino que, I, I just imagine the machine has, I don't know if that is the idea, has brushes like the same. <laughs> that is what I confused. Where is it? Because I can't find it. Dorian, uh, before once a fortnight. Uh, below is the one to the third participation of Dorian. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Uh, br the brushes. Um, is the brush the one we know, or the one we use for the teeth, maybe? And is this the plural? I'm confused. I don't know. Yes, it can be, but um, I wouldn't say that it's that kind of brush. It's more like a brush, like, okay, for example, you, you use a brush uh, to put on makeup. You oh, use okay. a brush to paint a wall, mm. that kind of brush. Okay. Okay? Okay. So how do you say brush in Spanish? That's a similar brochas. Brochas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Need brush once a fortnight. Oh, okay. I understand now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I recommend check the brushes once mm -hmm. a fortnight. Once a fortnight. So that means check, check the brushes to see how they are, if they're in good condition or bad, once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, um, Okay, and then shut in this case, okay, in this case, shut um, is not a, well, okay, shut can be an, an, a verb or it could be a noun, okay? Um, in this case, it's not a noun, sorry, it's not a, a verb, it's a noun. And, but as the, the, the verb, to shut means to close, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, and in this case, um, to extend the shut, I, I would say in this case, we're talking about like the, what's the word? Like turn off? No, 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 no. No, no it's not you saying. Because we, uh, we will have to extend, extend the shut. Um, in this case, well, um,
Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say, Ana Claudia? Like, turn off? Yes, but not, it's not, turn off is a verb. In this case, we use it as like the action the, of turning. Maybe the time that the machine will not be available for the use. No. Um, yeah, but it's like, it's the time that, that the power, there is no power for the machine yeah yeah so the period of time then the machine has no power ah okay we'll be off service <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. okay yeah. i mean temporarily <laughs> mm -hmm. okay okay and why i i don't know if i confused because we know we commonly heard to use shoot down Yes, but shut down is an, a verb. Okay, whereas this is the shut. Then, uh huh. The the, as a noun. As a noun. Mm -hmm. I got it. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, things up. Mm -hmm. Things up. Things up. In the third participation of Dorian. Oh, to speed things up. You have, yeah, the whole thing is speed things up. Um, to speed things up means to make things go faster. Okay? So we need to speed things up means we need to make things go faster. Like in Spanish? Tenemos que acelerarlo. Okay. All right. And then we have strange noise. Um, where is strange noise? Strange. I can't find strange noise. In the second, the second line of Ramon. Ramon. You are right, you know, I does not work properly. Next, and it makes a strange noise. Okay, it makes a strange noise. You guys don't understand what a noise is, right? Yes, teacher. Right, noise, right. So. A strange noise or a funny noise, also we can refer to it as a funny noise, means a noise that is not proper of the machine or whatever it is we're, to, we're talking about. So if you know, like machines always make a noise, right? So if you know that the machine goes like, Right? That's the sound of the noise. That's the noise the machine makes. Like, that's normal. But then you hear, right? So then, oh my goodness, like, that's a different noise that is not, that is not proper. You know that the machine is not supposed to make that noise. That would be a strange noise. Yeah? So it's a noise that you know is not proper of that that thing right in this case a machine does that make sense yes teacher yeah yes teacher okay anything else anything else that you would like to make sure we understand okay Teacher, I have a doubt. In the second participation of Dorian, it says, I need to take the metal casing up to bury if it's a minor fault or what. That word, bury, is verified or? Yeah. Or, or how, how you use bury in this case? 
No. What does that mean? That, that, um, that's actually, uh, that's uh, a typo. I, I actually had realized it, but I forgot to mention it. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's a typo. Mm -hmm. That's a, to verify. I'm going to write it down. There's this, they, they, have, they forgot to, to put the I in the F. You know what happened? Saben lo que ha de haber pasado cuando estaban, cuando estaban editando esta, esta conversación. Lo que ha de haber pasado es que lo pusieron. Y... Aquí está el IF, pero en vez de ponerlo en el lugar correcto, que es entre medio, se, se puso afuera. So, that should be verified. Okay, it, should, it should say, I need to take the, the metal case off to verify it is a minor fault or what. Okay. Okay. That's what I think it is. I think that's where the problem lies. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, any other questions? And thank you guys for bringing. Th thank you for bringing that up. Anything else that you want to ask about any other vocabulary? No. Okay. So let's practice. Let's practice all together. Now that you know the vocabulary, um, let's practice the pronunciation. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Dorian. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. No problem. No, no problem. problem. Someone reported a fault. Someone reported a fault. A fault. Notice this word is fault, not fault. 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 No. fault. 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 On one of your machines. On one of your machines. One of your machines. I'll have a look at it. I have a look at it. You are right. You are right. You know. You know. You know. You know. It does not work properly. It does not work properly. And it makes a strange noise. And it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. This, this is, is a complex machine. machine. So maybe, so maybe, maybe, you will need some time. You will need some time. Yes. 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 Complex machines, complex machines have a lot of components. Have a lot of components. I need to take. I need to, need to take, take the metal casing off. The metal casing off. Casing. Casing. So it's not casing. It's casing. Okay. Casey. 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 And this is off. Oh. 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 To verify if it is a minor fault. To verify if it's a minor fault. Or, or what? what? Minor. 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 
not meaner, it's minor. 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 For what? For what? I understand. I understand. If that is the case, if that is the case, that is the case. We need to speed things up. We need to speed things up. I recommend. I recommend. Check the brushes. Check the brushes. Once a fortnight. Once, Once a fortnight. 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 To make sure. To make sure. They're not down. They're not down. And what happens if they are? What happens if they are? We will have to extend the shut. We'll have to extend the shut. All right. Bravo, guys. Very, very good. Okay. So now you know pronunciation, you know vocabulary. And I need you guys to practice now with your partner the conversation. But also, I need you to discuss these questions with your partner. The first, oops, sorry. The first question is, what seems to be the problem with the machine? And what recommendation does Dorian give? Okay, so go ahead and practice with your partner. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, give me a second here. Um, is Warner here? No, right? Warner is not here. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to open up. I'm going to give you six minutes to practice the conversation, both roles, right? And answer the questions. Okay. So here we go. Let's open the rooms. because they have a um, mistake with write the uh, transit, bueno, eh, los números de declaración habían cometido un error, entonces uh, ir a averiguar quién había cometido el error y cuál era el número correcto. It's too bad. So... Now it's relax. Relax, relax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share with you the. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. I'm Ramon, and you could be Dorian. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. So we report the uh, fault on one of your machines. He'll have a look at it. You are right. Do you know 
it, it doesn't does not work properly and it makes a strange a strange noise um, <clears throat> and what happened is the yard we will have to send a chat Tenemos que contestar las preguntas. What seems to be the problem with the machine? ¿Qué parece ser el problema de la máquina? It makes a strange noise. Así es. Did you, did you both read the conversation? Yes. Yeah. yeah, like you were both Ramon and Dorian? Yes. Okay. okay. And what seems to be the problem with the machine? It makes extreme noise. Noise. Okay, let's go to the other part. We need to complete the questions about the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Mm. Uh, the machine is make a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. That's right. The machine, it makes a strange noise. Number two, what recommendation does Dorian give? A set of facing off to bury if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. <laughs> if that is the case, we need to speed things up thing up. I recommend check the brushes, brushes one a fortnight to make sure they they're not down. What happens if they are? Well, how to extend the Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, um, when you just, just uh, remember it's rec, uh, recommend. Recommend. Yes, recommend. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. All right, answer the questions. Teacher, okay. teacher okay. Pro, pro, proper, properly, properly. Appropriately. Properly. Okay. Properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So question number one, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Same. Are you guys finished? No. We have to answer the question only. Yeah. See, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Um, it, it, it makes a strange noise. So. It, it does not it work makes... properly. Dorian. Okay. Um, thank you for coming, Dorian. Hi, teacher. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Are you finished? Are you ready? Um, yes, teacher, I practice. I practice one, one more. Okay, okay, good. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. So one uh, reports a phone on one of your machine. I have a look at it. You're right. You know. It does not work. Pro, la pronunciación, teacher, sorry, de properly? Properly. Repeat, please. Properly. 
Probably. No. Properly. <laughs> Proper. Yeah. Proper. Lee. Ah, properly. That's okay. There probably. And it make a strange noise. Noise that that the strange noise is. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the mirror casing of the verify it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend that the project one on a fortnight to make sure they're mm -hmm. not done. And what happened if they are? We will have to extend the shot. The shot, okay. The shot, uh -huh. for night. Uh, the... In English, para saber qué le decían en español y al final la pronunciación. Y pues me funcionó bastante. Al menos una, un, eh, puedo entenderlo, pero el problema mío es la pronunciada. Realmente. La pronunciación. Sí, eso es lo que más me cuesta. A mí. The best way to make to help that is to practice. Okay, Ricardo, so just you practice it. Right? I need a lot of practice. Yeah, practice. <laughs> like Very... the effort of doing it in English. I know it's hard sometimes, but you know, whatever you say, try to say it in English. And the more you practice, the better you will get at it. Okay. Yes, but I love the I love English. I love English. Uh, yeah. I like that. Uh, my problem is the the pronunciation and and uh, talking. That's a big problem. Yeah, and and you know what? It's it's normal. It's normal that you're that that's a, a one of the most difficult parts, you know, of a language to speak it. But the only way you can get better at it is, you know, doing it. Like, like they say in Spanish, lanzarse el agua. Right? Nah. The only way. Because if you, if you don't do that, you will never, like, sometimes you, 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 you don't want to say it because you're afraid of making a mistake. But if you never make the mistake, you're never going to learn. Yeah. Right? So just yes. forget about what you sound like, just say it. And the more you practice it, the, the easier it will be on your ear to get it. And then your tongue is gonna get used to saying it. Yes, yeah, you're totally right. Yes. Yeah. You have completely right. Okay. Yes. Thank you for, yes. for the advice. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Manuel? Um, yeah, th there you go. <laughs> great. Okay, great guys. Um, all right, so I think I gave you enough time to practice, review, ask, you know, answer. Okay, so that was the idea, right? To practice as much as possible. Any questions you wanna ask at this moment? Okay, before, actually, you know what, before we continue, um, I want to take attendance again. So I'm going to go ahead, say your name, and you tell me if you're there. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. 
Great. Andrés? Eh, tuvo problemas con la energía eléctrica, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Um, Edgar? Edgar? No? Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Great. Fabiola? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Javier? Present teacher. All right. Um, Heidi? Present teacher. All right. Irene? Present. All right. Um, Josué Alberto? Present teacher. Okay, good. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carla? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Melissa? Present teacher. Great. Luis? Luis? No. Okay. Uh, Manuel? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Manuel de Jesus? Present. Right. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Okay. Wendy? Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Werner? Werner? Mm hmm okay. Uh, Noemi? Present. Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Great. Daniel? Present, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto. Okay. Marlene? Marlene? And Ricardo. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll repeat the people that I didn't hear a response from. Uh, Edgar? Luis? Jorge Alberto? And Marlene? I haven't heard any. No, right? Okay. All right. Let's continue then, guys. Um, so let's have um, a pair. One of uh, you guys want to present the conversation in front of the class. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I had problems with my internet, but I hear. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know there's sometimes that happens, you know. Okay, yeah, I took notes of that. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, so, partners, I would like to uh, present the conversation. Who would like to present in front of the class? Me, teacher, Miss Anna. Let's go. I was about to ask you. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Okay, you're on the same. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Darian. No problem. Someone reported the fault of one of your machine. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it doesn't, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need to some, some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if, it's, if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. 
Okay, thanks. All right, bravo. Excellent, guys. Okay, all right, next, next couple. Come on, don't be shy. Aquí estamos en confianza. Me and Giovanni. All right, excellent. All right, yay, okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Lauren. No problem. Someone recorded a fault on one of your machines. We'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing of the ready if it's a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend a check the brushes one a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. One more partners. I mean, who else would like to to present? Anybody? Me with. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who was your partner? Oh, my partner was uh, Adi and Ramon. I'm sorry, Anne. <laughs> uh, Ricardo. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, all right, so um, Ricardo, you wanna go ahead? Ready, Ricardo? No? Hola, hola. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We're ready. Ready to listen to you. Yes. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a phone on one of our two machines. I have to, I have a look at it. You're right. You know, it does not work properly and it make a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal case enough to verify it, to verify it is it a manual fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight uh, to make sure they are not down. And what happen if they are there? They are. We will have to extend the shot. Thank you. All right, very good, excellent, bravo. Okay, very good. Um, we were actually talking with uh, Ricardo a few minutes ago, right? That um, uh, um, okay. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Um, we were we were just talking a few minutes ago with Ricardo that sometimes one of the most difficult things about learning a language is the speaking part, right? Um, that's like probably the most one of the most difficult um, parts of or the skills that is most difficult for us to learn, especially if we do not live in a country where the language that we're learning is the main language, right? If it's a main language, it's easy to learn it, right? It's easy, you know, to be able to, uh, to pick up the language quickly and probably some people even start learning in about three or four months, they're already talking the language 
with no problem, you know, if they are living in a country where that is the main language. But in our case, in El Salvador, you don't hear people speaking English. That's not that's not an official language. So of course, um, it becomes a little more difficult. So the question is, how do I get better at it? You know, how how am I supposed to um, you know improve? And the answer is simply put it into practice. So if you're if you have difficulties with speaking, that should be your priority. That sh you should be trying to speak it as much as possible um, because that way you will get better at it, right? So sometimes we're afraid of mispronouncing words. I mean, you say saying something incorrectly and you say, oh my goodness, some, you know, they're going to laugh at me. They're going to, you know, um, like they say in Spanish, voy a ser de ridículo. And that's not true because we're all learning and i include myself i learn i learn new words in english myself even though i'm a native speaker but i learn new words every day and i learn how to say these new words uh, because of course we don't we don't know a, a language 100 percent even if it's our native language you know like i'm sure you don't know spanish 100 percent Right? I'm sure there are still words from Spanish you don't know that you're learning. Even, even some grammatical things about Spanish, you're like, oh, really? I didn't know that. So, you know, we're always learning, and that includes the teacher. So never, never worry about making a mistake because we all make mistakes. Okay. And the only way we can stop making that mistake is by throwing ourselves into like the water and start swimming, right? That's the only way. So, um, you know, don't be afraid of making mistakes. You'll make the mistake once, twice, maybe three times. But after a certain time of making the same mistake, your brain goes, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's incorrect. And it starts to correct itself. But that only happens after you've made the mistake. Right, so you have to make the mistake the first, second, third time, even or more if it's necessary. But your brain will get it. But if the thing is that if you never make the mistake because you're like, oh, I'm too afraid, you're never gonna get better at it. Okay, so don't worry, guys. You know, just try it. Right, that's the only way you can get better at it. Okay, very good, very good guys. Um, any questions at this moment, at this point? We're okay? okay. All right. Good. So let's move on with, uh, with this. Um, we have the two questions that we have not answered. So let's answer those questions. Okay, so these are questions here, right? Okay, right here. So first question, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Who can tell me? It makes a strange noise. Hey, good, it makes a strange noise. So you're saying, mm, this machine is not working properly because the noise it makes is not the noise that it's supposed to make. Okay. Next, what recommendation does Dorian give? Check the brushes once a recommend uh, fortnight. Check the brushes once a fortnight. Good. To check the brushes once a fortnight. Excellent. There we go um all right perfect so let's move on to the next part guys let's talk about describing issues and when i talk about issues what what does this word mean who knows what this word means problems <laughs> problems yeah problems exactly issues can mean problems not all the time but in this case we're talking about problems okay so describing problems. 
So how do you describe a problem to someone, um, especially if you're talking about problems at the workplace about machinery? Okay, not problems between people. Okay, I'm talking about problems with the machine in your workplace. Well, here are some of the ways we can say, I'll have a look at it. Okay, so um, this is talking about um, how to solve the problem. Okay, so I'll have a look at it. I mean, like I said before, um, to have a look at something is to check it. Like you say in Spanish, le daré una mirada. Okay. You can say it doesn't work, right? It doesn't work properly. So it means the way that it's supposed to work, it doesn't work that way. It makes a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. Um, so you're saying that, you know, the noise that it makes, it's not appropriate. I need to, right? Talking about uh, something that you can do to solve the problem. I need to speak up to make it, okay? Uh, check the brushes once a fortnight. Well, we've, we've talked about that, right? You guys know what fortnight means. Who remembers? Who can re remind me what is fortnight? Twice a month? Or every two weeks. Exactly. Yeah. Fortnite literally means two weeks, right? Or 15 days, yeah. right? Okay. So uh, once a fortnight would be once every 15 days or every every two weeks, or uh, which is equivalent to twice a month. Okay. Then we have, I have to extend the shot, right? We've talked about that, um, what that means and a minor fault, okay? What is the word fault? What is the meaning of fault? Fire. Yeah, exactly. A fault is something that is not working properly, okay? Okay, so tell me, uh, I'm going to ask you guys to do something for me. I want you to read each one of these and identify, is this something you would say to report a problem or to solve a problem? Okay, so I'll write it down. So you guys know what I'm talking about. So I want you to write down, is, this, is each one of these things used to describe, okay, so report a problem, or to solve or resolve a problem, or yeah, solve, solve a problem, okay? I want you to go ahead and identify. Let's, let's classify them, okay? Does that make sense? Individually, you can do this, this individually, everybody. Okay, okay. Go ahead, classify each each one of these.
Okay, you guys finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys, we're just going to put an R for a reported problem, and we're going to put an S, an S for solving a problem. Okay, so that will be easier. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I'll have a look at it. Is it report a problem or solve a problem? Solve. Solve. Solve a problem. Good, solve a problem. Okay, good. It doesn't work report. properly. Report a problem. Report, report. report a problem. Report. It makes a strange noise. Report. 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 Right, good. I need to report. Solve. 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 Yeah, solve. 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 Check the brushes once a fortnight. Report. Solve. 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 I have to extend the shot. Solve. Yeah. Solve. A minor fault. Report. Report. Right. Okay, good. Excellent. Teacher, in the number four, maybe I need to report. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's possible. Yeah, that's that's fair. Right. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I accept that idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, so it really depends on the how you use it. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. Okay, so now, guys, let's look at this vocabulary. We're going to match the expressions and words with the phrases in the left, okay? So here we have small unimportant problem you're going to match it with one of these okay so you're going to decide what the order is okay we can do this individually as well okay i did it you did it okay good all right i'll i'll, I'll give the others uh maybe you know one two minutes uh, for the people that haven't finished it. Okay, teacher. Down to okay, you guys ready? Who needs more time? No, I'm ready. You're, you're ready, yeah? Yes, we are. Okay, good. All right, let's start then. Okay, um, all right, I'm gonna ask individually. Um, Noemi. Help me out with the first one. Um, so, a small unimportant problem. Small unimportant problem, which one is it? A, B, C, D, or E? 
What happened? I, I didn't. Hi. Hi. Okay, now I can hear you. Hello? So, in the menu, Okay, let me choose another person then. Um, uh, Melissa, help me with number one, Melissa. Uh, for the number one, the answer is the letter E. Okay. All right. So a small uninformed poem is a minor fault according. Okay. Good, thank you. Um, let me actually make it smaller. Okay, good. Uh, next, number two, check it. Uh, Warner, can you help me with number two? Number two, teacher C. Check it, uh, have you a lot of it? Okay. All right, thank you. Number three, a period of two weeks. Um, let's say, uh, Juan Francisco. D. Who said D? I'm sorry. That's okay, no problem. I guess, well, Francis, Juan Francisco, are you there? Maybe not. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, who, who spoke before? Okay, well, let, let me then choose somebody else. Manuel. Uh, Manuel de Jesus. A period of two weeks is? Two weeks. B. Letter B or D? B, B. B. Okay. Like that? Perdón. Kiss me, kiss me. Uh -huh. eh, y check, check e, B, B. So, number three, a period of two weeks. Mm -hmm. What is Manuel? B or D? Es three, estoy confundido. Es D. D, okay. So this one. Sí. Yes. Uh, for a night. Uh, for a night. A fortnight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number four. Um, uh, let's see. Number four. Uh, Daniel. For um, do something faster. Yeah, do something faster. It's B. I Which mean, one? B. B. Okay. All right. And number five. Uh, let's have Janet help us with number five. Letter A. Make shut down longer. Letter, Letter A. Okay. So she says that make the shutdown longer is extend the shut. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Uh, anything you want to change or do you agree with the answers? 
I know, Ray. Agree. agree. I agree too. Okay. All right, so let's see. The first one is a small unimportant problem, a minor fault. It's correct. Very good. Check it. Have a look at it is also correct. A period of two weeks, a fortnight is correct. Do something faster, speed things up. Yes, correct. And make the shutdown longer, extend the shut is also correct. Bravo, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. So, do we have any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. All right. In that case, what we're going to do is move on to the next activity, which is. Um, teacher. Yeah. Sorry, I had a question. Mm -hmm. with uh, a platform. Okay. Uh, in the platform, don't have a discussion. In the platform, there's no where. Because in other live uh, we have a discussion. Mm -hmm. But in this um, in this level don't have. My question is, um, la, sorry, la pregunta es, vamos a tener discusiones en la plataforma porque no, 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 las, hemos, no las he visto. O, yes, o yes. I'm going to, um, uh, after, after um, well, not this week, this coming week, I'm going to be posting them. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so you're, you're going to, to have a discussion, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is we're now going to move on to the next part, which is your turn. Okay. Now it's time for you guys to work on this. What are you going to do? You're going to work in pairs. You're going to think of a problem that may occur with the machinery at your workplace. Okay. So um, one of you is going to think about the a problem with the machine. Then we're going to use the conversation in exercise one as a model. Okay, so you're going to think of the conversation between Ramon and Dorian. Use expressions that are from part four, you know, expressions like extend the shut, um, you know, once a fortnight, et cetera, et cetera. Then we're going to present the conversation in front of the class. Okay, all right, so I'm going to give you. I would say, let's do 10 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes to create the conversation with your partner, use as much as the vocabulary as necessary. You don't have to make it very complex conversation, just talking about the problem. And you can make sure that you're using this, this vocabulary here, right? I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly, you know, things like that. You don't have to use all of them, but you can use some of them. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Okay, okay teacher. All right. So let's, let's uh, get you guys, let's recreate the rooms. Um, Okay, um, all right, let's open up the rooms, guys. Oh, I'm going to get, so I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. Let me change that. All right, let's open up the rooms, guys.
Nami, are you having any problems connecting to the to the group? To your to your partners? Nami, are you having any problems? Manuel Alejandro? Teacher, I have a problem with my internet. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, continue trying. No sé qué pasa. Pero, pero si tiene... Entra y salgo, entra y salgo. Juan Francisco, usted... Sí, eh, tengo aquí. Sí, sí le ha llegado la invitación. Ok, sigue intentando, a ver si tal vez le, le, le da chance. Eh, Juan Francisco, Manuel Alejandro, ¿están allí? ¿No? Juan Francisco está ahí. Juan Francisco, ¿me escucha? Juan Francisco. No me escucha. Dorian, uh, eh, eh, le cambiamos los nombres. I don't know. Yes, no problem. Okay. Uh -huh. Juan Francisco, ¿me escucha? Okay, and you? Uh, Marvin. Okay. And you change Dorian for your name? Werner. Okay, right, man. Mm -hmm. The conversation is uh, the, the practice? No. No. Yes. It, it shut down. Shut, shut down. No. Como ella dijo, algo corto, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Pero empezaría usted, digamos. ¿Cómo? Empezaría usted. <ríe> sí, está bien. Pues, eso ya sería como que la respuesta, yes. Ajá, porque dice, hola, alguien reportó un problema con el, en el compresor. Ajá. Y de ahí la respuesta, sí, se apagó. O sea, como que... Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces usted después puede poner, I will have a look. Look at it. Voy a echar un vistazo. No sé. Ajá, cabal. Yes, I. I have a look at it. Uh -huh. I have a look at it. A look. Uh, it has it has has because it's, it's uh, a third, third, third person. person. It has a drip noise. It has a drip noise. Dripping out. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Next the part, your part. Uh, sería. Um, okay. Uh, 
I'll have a look at it. Yeah. A fold. A fold. Um, in, in your machine. In your machines. In your machines. Uh, of the production. Yeah. Remember production. A production teacher. Production. <laughs> Thank you, production. A production. Uh, the productions. Production. Entonces, yo le voy a responder. It's correct. Sí es. It's correct. Um, uh, ajá, con, utilizando los, lo del cuadrito, ¿verdad? Sí, sure. Uh, we have uh, problems with the internet speed, so we switch off the camera because she okay. can hear me. But okay. now, now you can. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, all right. Yeah, no worries. Okay, continue. Individual, porque no no sé qué pasa. Ah, casi no trabajamos. Juntos, lo estamos haciendo como individual porque a mí me, no me, me entra, me saca, no sé qué me pasa. Oh, ok. Uh, try as much as you can to do it together. Ok. Ok. okay. Yes. Like, connect the ideas. Maybe that will help. Ok. 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 Yeah. Um, let me check the branches. The branches once a fortnight. To make sure they are okay. Okay. So my check. Okay. O sea, ah, me podría preguntar que cuál es la, cuál es la, la posición, posición correcta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What down or up? is the correct uh, position? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y luego usted me dice... Um, ¿Qué me diría ahí? Quiero ver. Jeremy. Is, um, the, the correct position is up. O sea, tiene que estar arriba. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so after you say, I understand, I. I understand. Uh, we, do, we can ask something like if it's necessary to shoot down. Um, or we can use the same recommendation. I recommend check the machine once a fortnight. <laughs> yes, I, I recommend to make the maintenance. Yes, make the main make the maintenance frequently. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. O podríamos Perfect. utilizar la palabra once fortnight para fortnight. mejor. Okay. Usar el vocabulario. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I recommend to. Make the. Hi, Juan Francisco. Can you hear me? Juan Francisco, can you hear me? Oh, 
Juan Francisco. Francisco. Okay, guys, let's hear your conversations. So we're going to start with group number one. Group number one was Marvin and Warner. So let's hear your conversation. Uh, I don't finish, teacher. You didn't finish? whatever you have just share with, with us but but you have it's not just it's not about writing it's yeah i want to hear it okay so you're going to you're going to present it in front of the class right so like you are doing it okay teacher this is in red is we did okay Okay. All right. So thank you yeah. for coming, Werner. Werner? Yes, teacher. Uh, ahora sí. Sorry, sorry. Huh? No problems. Sonar report a field on one of your machines. I have a look at it. At it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. The machine lost condition. I can scan container. Yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need a chat to give you a solution. Lucha. I understand. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, good. Um, excellent. Very, very good. All right, let's hear now group number two, which is Fabiola and Ricardo. Okay. Mm, okay. Hi, someone reported a problem in a compressor. Yes, it is sh shut down. Okay, I have a look at it. 
shell electrical resistance, it makes a strange no noise. I need to speed things up because the machinery can be stick. I understand. The machinery must be oiled twice a month. Okay, thank you. That's all. <laughs> okay, very good, bravo. All right, excellent. All right, let's go for group number three, Francisco and Yvonne. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Francisco. No problem, Ivan. Do you have a report a problem with the machine? Yes, I have a problem with the joint panel machine. It has a dripping oil. Okay, I have a look at that. Um, I need to change the oil level. It appeared the level of oil so high. I understand. Can you fix it? I need to speed. Uh, oh, <laughs> things up. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to sp uh, speed things up. Don't worry. It's a minor problem. The problem is solved. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very good. That was a fast to solve. To solve. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Just remember, Francisco. It's minor. Minor problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's very good. Excellent. All right, let's now listen to um, Janet and Manuel. Thank you for visit, Manuel. Uh, no problem. Are you report the uh, fault in your machines of the pollution? It's correct. You could check the problem of our machines. Oh, yeah, sure. Your problem is to update the software. You need to change the license and installing our machines. I get it. Only that. Sure. Only that. Okay, I'm Very good. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, we're going to do something then. Uh, because it's already time, we're going to finish off the other groups um, tomorrow. Okay, so, um, and Giovanni, who are you working with? I was working with Oila, but she's not here now. Ah, okay, okay. So, tomorrow you're going to be presenting, okay, with Soila? With Soila? And okay. also, uh, Melissa and Wendy will perform tomorrow. Uh, Josue and Carla will be tomorrow. And Ana, Irene, and Manuel de Jesus will also be tomorrow. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions, guys? Mm. Not teacher. No? Okay. Well, today, guys, I have I have a session programmed with Carla. Will you be able to stay, Carla? Yeah, teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let me just take quickly attendance. Um, just say present, and we'll just write you down. Okay. Um, so the first one we is Ana Claudia. Present, teacher. And the Giovanni? Present teacher. Edgar? Okay. Um, okay. Janet? Present teacher. All right. Um, eh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Okay. Good. Um, eh, Francisco? Present. All right. Uh, Haiti. I think she had the internet problem, right? Okay, Irene. Present teacher. Good. Josue. Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. 
Good. Um, Juan Francisco? Present teacher, sorry. I hang up. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, no worries. Uh, Carla? Present. Okay. Liliana, Melissa? Present teacher. Good. Luis? Luis? No. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay. Manuel de Jesus? Present. All right. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Warner? Present teacher. Yvonne? I'm oh, sorry, Noemi. Sorry, before Noemi. Noemi, no se encuentra Noemi. Okay, um, all right. Uh, Yvonne? Present. All right. Uh, Daniel? Daniel? Daniel, no, 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 no Daniel. Uh, Marlene? Jorge Alberto? Okay, and Ricardo? Ricardo? Okay. Maybe it's time and promise with the internet. Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget if you have ah eh, se me había escapado algo. Hay algunas personas que tampoco han completado eh, el, lo que es la tarea de la unidad dos de o sea, ajá, toda la, la unidad dos. Entonces, por favor, completen eso porque Aún no tengo, en, en algunos casos, creo que son como cuatro o cinco de ustedes que no tengo nota de la unidad dos. Ok, so please, please work on that. Ok, that's it guys. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, no sé si puede sacar en la, en la otra cuenta, como dejé la lacto con este activado. Ah, no sé si lo puede, puede sacar ahí. No, no me aparece la otra. Ah, va. Ah, no, pues, solo, solo, quiero ver, sí, okay. solo usted me aparece. Teacher. Ah, okay. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, I want to make a appointment of the platform. I have a problems. You have a problem in the platform? Uh, sí, tengo problemas con una, con una pregunta en la plataforma, teacher. No, right. no le encuentro. O sea, ya creo que la terminé, pero no. Ya le busqué por un lado, por otro y no. Ok, hagamos una cosa entonces. Mándenme la imagen. Eh, Perfecto, teacher. De, okay. en, en el grupo de WhatsApp y vamos okay. a ver qué se, se puede hacer. Ok, teacher. Pero mándeme una imagen de cómo, no solo el ejercicio, sino que qué es lo que está poniendo. ¿verdad? O sea, Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Sí, just teacher. Okay. No problem. Okay. ok, see you. See you, teacher. All right, Carla, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good, how are you? Um, so, so. <laughs> why? Because in this moment I have a headache. Oh, mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, is it a headache because of stress, because of illness, or because mm -hmm. of? Uh, for the two reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. But I, 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 I wish feel better. Yeah, maybe you, you can take something for your headache. Yeah. You take any pills? No, no, not yet, but I will. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that will help. Thank okay, you. so tell me, Carla, what, what can I help you with? Mm, um, 
Okay, teacher. Mm. It's time to talk in Spanish or just in English? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell, tell me whatever, however you feel comfortable. Okay. Este, no, en, en mi caso, pues, creo que um, a veces lo, lo único que he sentido es que hoy, hoy me siento un poquitito como más, eh, yo soy bien tímida, aunque no me lo crea, yo sí soy bien tímida. Eh, a veces me veo obligada a, a ser quizás muy social por el tipo de trabajo al que me dedico pero normalmente soy súper, súper callada, solo callada paso. Entonces, eh, sin embargo, bo, yo quería comentarle que, que voy a tratar la manera quizás de, de practicar más, porque eh, he sentido que en este módulo hay personas que, que están en un nivel quizás que no, no corresponde al, al nivel en el, que, eh, en el que yo estoy. No sé, quizás es percepción mía o ay, tantas cosas, la verdad. Pero yo digo, ay, mejor no digo nada porque este, sí, sí siento que, que como que solo, eh, solo escucho. Y, y tra antes trataba la manera como de, de practicar un poco más lo que usted hablaba, que el speaking fue la palabra, ¿verdad? Eh, tiende a ser eh, eh, the part very, very hard to, eh, harder than, eh, muy, muy, muy difícil como de este ponerlo en práctica ¿verdad? entonces este de ahí mmm, no escuchar sobre todo lo que usted tenga que decirme ¿verdad? porque este la verdad es que si sí hay momentos en los que como le digo si sí me quedo completamente callada porque siento que no que, que puedo cometer quizás a lo mejor un, un error verdad y, y digo pues quizás se van a reír de mí digo yo. <risa> y así consecutivamente bueno, primeramente uh, déjeme decirle de que le entiendo porque lo mismo me pasó a mí. Yo soy de hecho una persona muy, muy tímida eh, cuando no estoy en un entorno que, que sea muy, um, que, que esté fuera de mi zona de confort. Uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh, eh, uh -huh. igual que usted en el trabajo, pues es, es completamente diferente, ¿verdad? O sea, yo me tengo que, que olvidar, ¿verdad? De mi personalidad y tengo que um, sacar, ¿verdad? De donde no, no tengo, ¿verdad? Esa, eh, esa, esa fluidez y esa espontaneidad y, y ser extrovertida en ciertas cosas. Entonces, le entiendo, le entiendo, ¿verdad? Que hay momentos en que en la vida diaria de uno no, tal vez no se siente tan cómodo. Pero le voy a decir una cosa. En la vida uno va a encontrar personas que no necesariamente están eh, al mismo nivel de uno. Y cuando le digo mismo nivel, estoy hablando en cualquier sentido. Bueno, um, en su trabajo, usted va a ver que hay personas que tienen más experiencia que usted. Otras uh -huh. que tienen menos experiencia que usted, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué hace usted en ese caso cuando usted está alrededor de personas que tienen menos experiencia que usted? En el trabajo. En mi trabajo... Pues, para serle honesta, eh, cuando encuentro a una persona que, que tiene menos experiencia, pues trato la manera de, de, de enseñarle, de enseñarle lo, lo poco que se sabe, porque eh, hay gente que quizás está en, en una posición relativamente... Eh, eh, que se supone que se puede desenvolver al 100%, desenvolver al 100 pero este, quizás no comparte eh, de la misma manera sus conocimientos, ¿verdad? Entonces digo yo, ah, voy a meter mi cuchara aquí, de que lo, lo poco que sé, que a lo mejor el otro sí sabe un montón, pero le voy a decir eh, cómo se pueden hacer las cosas. En sí. el caso de cuando encuentro a alguien que sabe más que yo, 
eh, tiendo a hacer, depende. Si la persona me abre el espacio para que yo pueda eh, preguntarle o pueda aprender de esa persona, porque hay personas que pueden saber mucho, pero no, en vez de ayudarte lo que, o de enseñarte lo que hacen es como achacarte, ¿no? por lo menos en, ese es el tipo de, de, de experiencia que yo he tenido. Entonces, veo si la persona estaría dispuesta a enseñarme y por supuesto pegarme en el sentido de decir, ah, aquí voy bien porque puedo aprender cosas que actualmente no, no sé. Claro, claro, uh -huh. muy bien. Entonces, lo que, según lo que puedo escuchar, usted aprovecha ambas situaciones. Lo aprovecha. ¿Y por qué le digo aprovecha? Porque cuando uno, por ejemplo, cuando uno está con una persona que sabe menos que uno y uno viene y le, le enseña y todo, uno se convierte en un maestro. Y entonces ese, ese conocimiento, eh, usted está compartiendo. Eso es algo, una de las cosas más bellas de la, la docencia, ¿verdad? Y la docencia, estoy hablando en cualquier, cualquiera de uno, de cualquiera de nosotros puede ser un docente en, en ciertas diferentes áreas. Entonces, eso es lo, lo lindo de la docencia, de que cuando usted enseña, le enseña a alguien, eso no le quita a usted nada, más bien le reproduce más. O sea, lo que usted sabe, usted llega por, a, 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 puede compartir y, y eso que usted ya sabe para que otro puede llegar a, a tener eso mismo que usted sabe, ¿verdad? Y además de eso, cuando usted está enseñándole al otro, usted mismo se está retroalimentando. Pero, ah, sí, sí, esto me, no me acordaba. Ah, sí, sí, esto es así, ¿verdad? Usted ya lo sabe, pero está ayudando a su cerebro a recordarse, ¿verdad? Y ser más hábil. Entonces, esa es una, una de las de los cosas muy fuertes de, de la docencia que uno puede aprovechar. ¿Verdad? Y por el otro lado, o sea, imagínense qué lindo es saber de que una persona eh, aprendió algo porque usted le enseñó, ¿verdad? Eso es, es maravilloso. Entonces, eso es algo muy bueno cuando una persona está en una, algo, eh, en un nivel que es, digamos, de menos experiencia que uno. ¿Qué pasa cuando hay una persona con más experiencia? Pues usted puede utilizar eso a su ventaja también, porque, ah, ok, ahora entonces yo voy a poder mm, aprender cosas que yo no sabía, ¿verdad? Y claro, usted, sabe, usted está consciente en el trabajo cuando se está con una persona que, está, que tiene más experiencia, usted está consciente que la persona le supera en algo. De hecho, todas las personas nos superan en algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa persona los, le supera en algo en particular y entonces usted si sabe aprovecharlo, va a poder llegar a ese nivel que esa persona tiene, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿por qué le menciono esto? Porque es lo mismo con el inglés. En el inglés usted va a encontrar personas que tienen un nivel mayor que usted, un nivel menor que usted, pero de cualquier forma usted puede aprovecharlo. Lo que sea, en cualquier nivel que sea, aprovechelo. La persona con quien se, se junta ¿verdad? En, una, en, en una actividad sabe menos que usted, usted puede impartir ese conocimiento que usted tiene y puede llevarle a esa persona a donde usted quiere llevarlo, ¿verdad? Porque usted sabe más, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, ah, no, yo, yo le voy a ayudar de este lado, entonces vamos por este lado. ¿verdad? Entonces, y si la persona sabe más que usted, Aprovechelo también, porque entonces esa persona le va a ayudar a usted a ser una mejor versión de la que es ahorita. Usted va a poder aprender a pronunciar algo me mejor. Va a poder saber nuevo vocabulario, que es algo que usted no sabía, esa persona se lo sabe, ¿verdad? Pero algo que debe acordarse es de que todos, 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 todos hemos empezado de cero. ¿verdad? El experto en, un, en, un, en cualquier cosa no nació experto, tuvo que empezar siempre de cero, ¿verdad? Entonces, todos 
que tenemos que empezar de cero porque nadie nace con el conocimiento ya de ser algo. Entonces, esa persona que sabe más que usted empezó desde cero, igual que usted. Entonces, no se sienta mal que se, se mal, pronuncia mal una palabra. ¿Qué va a decir de mí? No, es que no va a decir nada. O sea, o, o no debe de decir nada porque un, en una ocasión, en, hubo una vez cuando esa persona tampoco sabía cómo pronunciar esa palabra. ¿Verdad? Y hubo una vez cuando esa persona muy probablemente pronunció mal esa palabra. ¿Verdad? En algún momento de su vida tuvo que haber pasado por eso. ¿Verdad? Entonces nosotros siempre, simplemente estamos pasando por procesos diferentes, pero que el proceso siempre es el mismo. Siempre empezamos de cero y si queremos podemos llegar a un nivel de experto. Pero el proceso es el mismo. Ahí va a depender de uno hasta dónde quiere llegar. Si usted quiere llegar a ser una experta, puede llegar ahí. Pero tiene que pasar por el proceso. ¿Ya? Entonces, no se me cohiba porque alguien sabe más que usted. Mírelo como una oportunidad. ¿Verdad? O sea, wow, te, tengo una persona que sabe más que yo. Voy a explotar esta oportunidad. Le voy a hacer preguntas. Voy a expresar muy, mucha atención. Esta persona tiene buena pronunciación. O esta persona tiene mucha fluidez. Voy a, a, a aprovecharlo. O esa persona, eh, yo he visto que sabe mucho de, de diferentes palabras. Porque yo veo que, que cuando pregunta la teacher, sabes decir qué, qué significa tal palabra. Aprovechenlo. ¿Ya? Y va a ver de qué va, va a mejorar. Tiene que, tiene que lanzarse el agua. Um, y va a ver que cuando usted se lanza el agua y empieza a nadar, en principio lanzarse el agua sin saber nadar es aterrador. Pero cuando usted se lanza el agua y empieza a ver que, y, o sea, sí, estoy flotando. ¿verdad? Me, me está costando, pero estoy flotando. Y después empieza a ver, ah, esto no está tan difícil, ah, sí, ya. Y entonces empieza a relajarse y empieza a flotar, tranquila. Ah, pues así es, en esto. Al principio le va a costar, le, cuando, va, cuando se lanza, a, a, a hablar y todo, y, ay, no, y todo. Pero con el tiempo va a ser, ah, bueno, no está tan difícil esto. Y después, ah, tranquila. Y va a ir viendo que después usted va a ser la experta y que otras personas van a estar aprendiendo de usted. ¿Va? Pero todo comienza con riesgos. Si usted no se arriesga, nunca va a saber hasta qué nivel puede llegar. Entonces, okay, okay. Es, es cuestión de, de terapia. Hacerse uno mismo tiene que hacerse terapia. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? o, sea, o sea, decir yo puedo porque quiero. Y tengo la capacidad de hacerlo. Así que lo voy a hacer. Entonces, si lo crees, lo, lo va a lograr. Y como digo, no se me cohiba porque todos aquí cometemos errores. Yo también cometo errores. De, a veces, o sea, hasta de pronunciación. Porque no soy perfecta. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Bueno, creo que solo eso, teacher. Ok. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Qué piensa? ¿Hola? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Qué piensa de eso que le acabo de decir? No, no, este... Eh... Eh, voy a voy a poner en práctica lo que me ha dicho y este y a tratar la manera de de no de no cohibirme así como usted lo acaba de decir porque entre más se practica creo que más se, se logra más rápido se llega a, a, a donde uno quiere este alcanzar su meta ¿verdad? entonces uh -huh. 
este, voy a poner de mi parte, yo trato, a veces si, si, si ve que medio, medio me, me conecto luego eh, de, de la hora, es porque ah, salí tarde del trabajo, ¿verdad? pero sí, le, le, estoy, le estoy metiendo bastante, quiero, quiero seguir porque hace muchos años que lo he estado posponer y posponer y posponer, entonces, no, de alguna u otra manera tengo que terminar algo que siempre me ha gustado y que, y que, que valga, que valga cada, cada minuto que uno pone acá, pues, y, y de, de, de esmero y uh -huh. a veces hasta de sacrificio, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, voy a, voy a tomar bien en cuenta las cosas que me diga, teacher. Este, se lo digo sinceramente y pues, igual si... Si hay algo que, que usted vea en mí, que, que usted considera que tengo que mejorar, pues dígamelo porque es muy importante para mí que me diga las cosas. Uh -huh. A veces es bueno conocer mejor sus, sus talones de Aquiles porque entonces uno dice, ah, bueno, entonces aquí no voy a, no voy a, no voy a poner mucho en el pie porque me, puedo, me puede ir mal, vea. Es, es un ejemplo. Sí, Ajá, es que le estoy... Pero también uh -huh. es importante saber las la fortaleza, o sea, no, no, no siempre enfocarse en lo negativo, sino que también en lo positivo. O sea, si uno se enfoca, hay que, tiene razón, hay que saber, pero ser realista y saber cuáles son las la, la, la debilidades y todo. Pero también hay que saber fortalezas, ¿verdad? Y explotar esas fortalezas. Y le voy a decir una cosa, algo que yo he aprendido en estos, bueno, de hecho, en un, los últimos meses, en mi vida personal es que hay que hay que disfrutar el proceso a veces uno se enfoca tanto en el en el final que no se percata del proceso y el proceso también hay que disfrutarlo verdad o sea no solamente decir cuando yo hable inglés fluido Ok, excelente tener esa meta, pero si yo voy a solo y me enfoco en eso, me voy a frustrar porque para llegar a hablar inglés fluido, me, todavía, to, todavía falta tiempo para eso. Y si solo me estoy enfocando en eso, voy a sentir como que nunca llego. Pero si yo me enfoco en el proceso, en lo que estoy viendo ahorita mismo y disfrutarlo, entonces ahí es diferente. Ya mi motivación incluso continúa. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así que eh, disfruta el proceso. Y el proceso, el proceso también incluye frustración. Uh -huh. Sí, seguramente. Uh -huh. Bueno, Carla, entonces no sé si hay alguna otra cosa más con la que yo le pueda ayudar. No, teacher, solamente. Okay. Pero le felicito mucho, Carla, porque puedo ver ese, ese empeño en usted. Lo, lo, lo puedo ver palpable. Sí, que, que hay momentos que le cuesta y todo, yo entiendo eso pasa, pero lo puedo percibir en usted. Y esa actitud, yo se lo dije la vez pasada, la actitud va a hacer que usted llegue muy lejos. Ay, primero Dios que sí, teacher. Yo por eso le digo, es súper importante que usted me diga si ve algún flaqueo ahí, un mensajito, mándemelo y yo con gusto lo leo ahí. Sí. Ay, cuando, para que con un audio le responda, ¿verdad? pero sí, este, la idea es no, no, no dejar esto porque o sea, hay, hay un proceso, así como todos los, los demás compañeros, me imagino que han hecho, hacen muchos sacrificios. Eh, a mí ya me ha tocado conectarme en mi trabajo. Eh, por ejemplo, el viernes, ahí en mi trabajo voy a estar conectada y, y pueda que en ciertos momentos no responda. Y digo yo, así como me toca a mí, le toca a los demás. Hay quienes que les ha costado todavía más de lo que a mí me costó. O quizás está en un lapso en el que quizás yo estudié allá por el 2012, pero ellos es este su primer año estudiando. Entonces es como que... Ey, ese sacrificio ahí está, vea, eh, para todos, entonces sí, es como que no, 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 no tenemos que, que, que de, tirar la toalla, porque de alguna u otra manera, pues, esto es algo beneficioso, tener más cosas aprendidas y pues, 
este, créame lo que, que sí le, le tomo muy en cuenta cada, cada cosa que me dice. Un placer, Carla. Y así que la voy a dejar para que vaya a tomarse esa pasita también. Sí. Se sienta mejor porque yo sé que eso no es fácil. No es fácil. Ay, nada sí, grande. qué terrible ahorita. Ay, sí, Ay, ya, ya me va a pasar. Hola. Hay que descansar. Le Ay, no crea que ahorita aquí está mi hijo. Se lo, voy, se lo voy a enfocar. Ahí está mi hijo esperándome. Que tenemos que hacer los exámenes de este mes. Que en el colegio ya lo subieron. Entonces... Ay, no ve que estaba, estaba él haciendo el de inglés y no sé, no sé qué pasó, que lo cerró. Y estoy hablando con el teacher a ver si me lo habilita, pero quizás ya se durmió. Ahí está que vamos a hacer el de matemáticas ahorita. A ver qué, qué tal. Para mañana. Eh, son, ajá, los exámenes los habilitan a diario. Por ejemplo, ayer hicimos dos materias, ¿verdad? lectura. ¿Cuál otro hicimos, Toto, ayer? Mm. Lectura y informática. informática. Eh, ahora toca matemáticas, inglés, mañana sociales y así consecutivamente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, ahí me quedo después de... Así toca. Así toca, la vida de mamá. Ah, sí, soy mamá. una mamá luchona, ticha. Eso, eso, me... me, 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 me. <risa> bueno, pues, ticha, le agradezco pues, su tiempo. Gracias mucho y nos vemos mañana. Sí, nos vemos mañana, primero Dios, teacher. Ok, pues adiós. adiós. Bye. Bye.